Welcome everyone, you're listening to it, perhaps watching Calling the Audible. I'm your host, Piz Delores. I am joined by the man walking behind me, likely ruining the green screen. His name is Terry Tam. How's it going, buddy? Okay, sit where it says Terry Tam. It becomes better looking. Oh, there Impossible. There's not a thing in the world that's better looking than me. Let's do this. Never happened. always forget. <laughs> Thank you. I just figured that's a producer's job. Like, why am I soiling my fingers with a remote? Are we on FPF? What's going on here? We are on FPF. How's it going, buddy? I'm uh, very good. Thanks for joining me tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Honestly, I have to say, doing the shows uh, solo all season long was a cool experience. Well, not solo. Eagle's here, but being the one to drive the content all season long um, was interesting. Mm -hmm. But it was more preparation than I bargained for. It was hard. I do like having Terry here, though, because it reminds me of another show that we do. <laughs> What's that show called? You've been listening to Hot Sauce Sports. Oh, there it is. <laughs> those, by the way, the reason like, why is it so low is because I have something in between the headphones in my ears. The, for those interested, Terry is sticking around after the show, and we're actually recording an episode of Hot Sauce Sports. Yeah. We will be streaming live on the Hot Facebook. Sauce Sports Facebook page. We have an interview today yes, with a do. Montreal Canadian super fan and podcast host. What's her name? Uh, her name is Veronica. Her name is Chili Pepper on Insta- on uh, Twitter. And she has a podcast called The Happy Hour. I like and, it. And uh, she is very sarcastic and funny, and we are very excited to have her. That's awesome, because that, that's right up our alley. She's my Twitter friend. You know, we make friends with people on Twitter. Mm-hmm. That's it. Eagle, what games did we not cover last week? All of them. All the ones from Monday. this week. <laughs> so Monday the 18th? <laughs> and uh, Wednesday the 20th. All right. So let's start in Tier 2, because that's the page I have open. <laughs> <laughs> my condolences beat uh, Bruins. That's not. I, I think that's what I picked. I don't remember. Um, you took was. I think you took my condolences. Sounds about right. I think so. Yeah. Gab Wiseman looked good second half of the season, but didn't about look time. entirely as sharp as he has. And this this was that kind of game where it wasn't that bad, but just didn't completely click. Only three scores. Uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna get away with it. Not nah. against. No Not way. against Jeremy Anderson and his and his boys, and that defense. It's a good defense. Mm-hmm. It puts him in some in some tough spots, and and um, they they got away with the win. Uh, ben McMahon being being uh, the main dude in this game, six for sixteen, two touchdowns. So I like Ben a lot. It's like hard not to like though. Yeah, he's, he's a just good, a super he, good person. He's a good guy, but he's such a good player. Yeah, and he's just like he's just fucking good, man. Oh, sorry, I, I can swear. Yeah, I mean, I mean. We we prefer if you didn't, but <laughs> the zone would prefer if you Here, didn't. Take some toilet paper <laughs> and shut up. <laughs> Cry me a river. Um, yeah, I like Ben. Ben's always been a, a crazy player. Like you don't, ex- you don't. He doesn't look like much, you know, because he's a smaller guy. He kind of looks like he's twelve. But also, yeah, deflag yeah. that dude. Impossible. <laughs> like you have to aim for the. We're uh, most dudes have a knee. I think I played against him once, mm-hmm. and it wasn't fun. No. For sure, because I am he's so a fast, fat, slow guy, and he is a small, quick guy, mm. and usually. For some reason, they don't match well. I know. It's I mean, they match well on his side. Exactly. Yeah. Or if uh, he was dating and he was interested <laughs> in bears. Uh, I don't know what that means. You're a bears. You're the bears. I'm a bear. Yeah. You're, you're hairy and large. Big bear. You know what's funny? When I was um, when I was younger, remember ICQ? You remember because you're old. Of course, yeah. You know, you know what? Eagle, it, you remember ICQ? You know what? You don't even know what ICQ you, is. You know what the acronym is, right? It's ICQ. ICQ. Yeah. Is the, I it was you? like MSN Messenger before Messenger. So it was like, oh, okay, yeah. yes, of course. It would always do that every time you got a message. Yeah. My name was uh, uh, first. It was Greek Malacca. That's mm. a great name. And the A's in Malacca were the uh, at signs, and uh, then it be ch- and then it changed to Grizzly Bear because my friend said I look like a grizzly. Mm. And wow, that so is your friends knew then. segue <laughs> grizzly porn. Did I put it on. No. Well, right. you <laughs> can't segue it away from ruins by talking about bears, <laughs> Terry. <laughs> But I will say, uh, my name was uh, Red Raiders. Red no, Raiders was. <laughs> <laughs> no, my name was. You're such a liar. My name was at Peace FPS. Because nobody in their right mind would choose a name called Red Raiders. I know, it's an awful name. Yeah, awful. Rob White. It's think just better. Why don't you just take an NFL team name and add a color? So, like, Yellow <laughs> Dolphins. <laughs> yeah, but Yellow Dolphins don't exist. Okay, neither does a Red Raider. Who says who? Raider is what? What? It's a pirate. Exactly. So, who says they're not red? I mean, there I mean, was they're, they're, they're at sea a lot, so maybe they burned. There mm. was the Browns, the Boucherville, so you can uh, add either colors or cities. Yeah, it's true. It's a good one. So they should have both red Red Raiders of Boucherville, Seattle. <laughs> 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 red Raiders at BTB to yeah. Yeah, 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 there we go. It's a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. It's solid. Down Terry, you gotta stop touching the cut. Con- oh, didn't, <laughs> I didn't actually touch it this time. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you breathed on it too heavily. 
Uh, Red Raiders beat Prince Ali of Sudden. Um, just just slightly overmatched, perhaps. Uh, they met. I think I had picked Prince Ali of Sudden in this one. Well, because they had met, and it was a close game. It just it's just yeah. hard to believe that you know Mike Roy is gonna not learn from that and then and have the similar kind of game. He he didn't. He came out. He played essentially perfectly. I mean, if you don't know how good Mike Roy is, just ask him. Yeah, he's very good at telling you that. Yeah, he's very good at telling you how many awards he's won. Yeah, but he's um, he's actually played pretty good this season. Honestly, like he's one of those guys who we like to to make fun of, but like he's improved every time I've seen him in FPF. Oh, um, for sure, he's a, I mean, you can't not improve, and there's nothing you can like, not improve. I played, I played, your with, name I could played be with Mike and against him, and he's not he's not terrible. He just it's 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 the thing about Mike Roy is that when it's bad, it's the worst you've ever seen. Yeah, but when it's good, you have days like this. Exactly. 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 Uh, I, I like to say, I like to remind him now and again that he's part of the Elite Seven. What is, what is that? Uh, seven quarterbacks in FPF have been intercepted by Pease. Who, okay, who are they? Simon? I don't know. I, don't I know Mike Roy is one of them. Simon? Simon's not one of them. Me? No. No, I don't, no, no. I don't, way. I don't no play. No I don't play a lot of defense. I leave the city. Oh, the dude from uh, Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> I have no idea who uh, Antoine Mani. If um, only we had a website that told us yeah, all, all the time, but I it know. would take but forever to find all those games. Ego, I thought you were better. It's nope. <laughs> yeah, eat but your sugar. Eat but your he's, sugar. You he's, need it. <laughs> he's a talented dude, and I, I like that he went to MFL to sort of like sharpen his skills before uh, like making like a comeback to FPF. And yeah, even you know. a, even a, I think he played some. Uh, yeah, he played. He played quarterback in touch MFL. football league too. Yeah. No man, no. I I got no hate for them. I got. It's no like a division five. Asterix. It's getting. Uh, to be honest, it's right. getting. It's getting better. Just like FPF. Okay. Yes. So that's the other thing. I've been in this it's league. Not, it's not going to touch the top levels of FPF because it's far yeah. more competitive. So this league has been uh, since 2005, mm -hmm. right? I've been in the league. This league since 2006. It was yeah. like two years after I stopped playing football, and the division. There was two divisions back then. Division one was the Wolverines, the finest, the Hurricanes, um, and the finest had Mo Khan rushing. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Hurricanes, who a lot of them were great players, and they all, not they all sucked. Most of them sucked, except for the finest. Most of them sucked. You'll get better eventually. You can't not get well, better. And the thing is, like, I and I say this all the time, like, I wish I played quarterback when I started in 2011. Yeah. Because it changes the defenses way didn't it. move. They did the same thing over and over. It's same like guys practices. dropped. Yeah. And, yeah, it's, it's like you're playing against a practice defense. When I, first, when I first started playing, I would only play defense, and it was... Uh, I would. It was either man mm -hmm. or a terrible zone that we would call, yeah. like terrible. And it was three guys deep, two guys short. It wasn't even like a, a one three five. Like we didn't call numbers. We called uh, cover three, which cover three was the the two corners go and in the middle. and the guy in the middle go, which is basically one three five. Yeah. And uh, when then you had Adi Sharma. Anyway, we're, 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 but we're, but it, like you know we're we're digressing. Here. But interestingly, like. Just think of even offenses you see in the lowest divisions and how complex they are versus literally I've played in games where the quarterback for 80% of the game just called all hooks, all hooks, all hooks, all hooks, and then whatever runs will play. Yeah, it it no longer does. Carmen Poliche's offense. Sorry. Hooks and slants. Yeah, but so like you, those things still apply, but the, the, the combinations to, to create space Both. for the hooks and slants yeah. have changed. We Kevin. have breaking news from the commissioner. Saying uh, wrong, uh, Wolverines were in Division Two in 2000. They were. He's right because and Terry was in Laval Division Two, which was a weaker Division Two. It was awful. Voodoo were actually one of the top teams and in we, that division, and we smacked them around. Like Voodoo, ask Frank K. They never beat us. <laughs> I wish I could find that. So I remember one time I got tried a lateral and it hit uh, Terry, another guy on our team, right in the chest, and he took it to the house, and the refs didn't know what to do, so they called it a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, score. Yeah, uh, Marvin's got uh, Slamberg scored four times this game. He was the he was the stud for Red Raiders as he has been when he's been there mm -hmm. um, on five touches. On five touches. Yeah. Well, I mean, like go to your guys when you need to score, right? If only we can see per catch like how many yards it is. There's some more stats coming. Can yeah. you do 86 divided by five? No, I mean like if we could see his 140 bomb. Yeah, but it could be 240. Oh, yeah. It could be yeah, 240 yeah. bomb. <laughs> <laughs> three catches for six yards. <laughs> <laughs> um, Imagine we, we are going to get so some, diverse, Marvin. We are going to be getting some more stats. We're getting advanced stats coming up. Oh, really? Team stats and individual stats. Yeah. Okay. Is there, is that because uh, Langberg complained? No. Is it because he wants more stats? No, it's because we wanted to do this for a long time. But are you going to take a long time to do? Are you going to take these away from me? Or am I going to eat them? You can eat them. I don't want them. Then you can eat them. I don't want them. Okay. It's better to eat things not when you're on the show. <laughs> this is 
terrible. Is that, a, is that a stupid segue? No. Okay. I don't have a segue because the page hasn't loaded yet. I love how I love I love how Eagle loves that I'm here. <laughs> Part of my swag versus replacements tier three. Oh, I opened a tier one. I tag. did not hear. Uh, Where did bring you just the say? bring the sheet up so I can talk about it, Eagle. Because yes. I opened tier one. Why would you open tier one? There's no games in tier one. Well, I don't know that. I just opened a tab. I don't know that because the internet slow as shit. We're gonna preview. There we go. Part of my swag beat oh. replacement thirty one twelve. Yeah, that was a game where replacements are out of their, out of their depth, uh, like we said. Uh, they made impressive strides last three games of the season, but um, Brad Evans is just too experienced, and uh, Frank Tiela Colachella he's not learned how to properly. Two Italian defense. names there, you couldn't figure it out. Frank Tiela Colachella. Oh, okay, you, b- you butchered it. What did I, what did I call? You it? said Tiela Frank Tiela Colachella. There you go. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, said I feel like time. I said the same thing three times. <laughs> um. So yeah, he's filibuster. Have you watched replacements play? Yes, I have. So when I watched him play, it seems as though he has an initial read that he makes in a huddle, yeah. and if that guy is open, immediately he gets the ball. If not, he then forces it to something because he hasn't read the rest of the field. Okay, so Rob wants to say, "Oh my God, Rob, you got suspended!" That I got suspended. Do we have to? We have to say why? Uh, uh, I mean, it'd be yeah, fun I know. I, I was know, gonna say, I but know I don't why bring, you were suspended, but we shouldn't get into that. I was gonna say, but I didn't. I, I won't. I mean, we should not. Oh, at the end of the show. Okay. I'll say it at the end of the show. He also called you a fish. Bacala. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, Lavaldi like that. too. That was brutal. Mm. Awful. They were Jadaridi's team. They wore. They were called the Rockets. They wore Habs jerseys. Like hockey jerseys. Mm-hmm. That's how awful it was. Yeah. Like not t-shirts. Like actual hockey actual jerseys. hockey Habs jerseys. What? What? You dumb. <laughs> 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 it sounds awful. It sounds uncomfortable. It's the worst. This where doesn't want to talk about this anymore. Well, also because we need to keep the show moving. <laughs> ah, okay. We don't have all night. <laughs> Correct. Um, <laughs> or do we? Part of me, we do not. <laughs> I have too many bets on too many things to have to be here all night. And I have to go upload all the all stars and awards, or else Rob's gonna fire me. If I if I if I stay here all night, Eagle, that means I can't chase the late ba- basketball games, <laughs> and that's a problem because I'm gonna lose money tonight on NFL. So oh, really? Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you took the Colts. I, I took the Colts and I I just made a lot of DFS bets that are super okay. risky because now I'm chasing. I've lost every on, daily fantasy bet I made this. Week. I am on tilt from last week. I was doing well, but anyway, that's for another show. Uh, when you look at the right part of my swag roster, yeah, Riley Pincomb, uh he to me seems like the only guy who scares me, and it seems as though he's still being effective. If in a bowl game, and we could talk, we'll talk about. More once we get to the 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 previews, but in a, in a bowl game, do you think there's someone else on this roster, Terry, that can step it up if Riley gets schemed away? Um, the thing about Riley is that he his plays are so huge that they change the games themselves. Mm-hmm. There's nobody on the on this ro- roster that can that can uh, replace the big play ability of Riley Pinkham. I think I've, it's like the third time I talk about him this year. Yeah, he's awesome. Amazing player. And uh, Brad Evans is the reason for that because Brad Evans gives uh, spreads out the ball extremely well, mm-hmm. as you can see on the screen. Can they see this or we're only seeing yes, this? Yes, they can. They can? Um, as you can see, ext- extremely well. And Brad Evans is, like you said before, he's very experienced. So he'll be able to dish out the ball, but you can't replace Riley Pinkham's big play ability. Yeah. If he's not there, like the game is probably... Like they, they won't be able. He'll have to really eat the clock completely down to take the ball away from the other team. Lockdown took a game from uh, Lamas Pajamas, and we see here Sean Fontaine caught five comebacks for 80 yards <laughs> and a touchdown. Sean Fontaine. That's actually incorrect. <laughs> uh, <laughs> believe it or not, I he don't. injured himself on the first play of the game and dislocated his pinky. And then we Soft. have to take Did he it continue back. playing? Soft. He continued to play, but he sat out like literally half the game, including a lot of half the game. Did he pop soft. it back into place? Uh, he did. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good job. And uh, most of the yard, it was not comebacks. I mean, yes, there were comebacks. Yeah. But uh, then it was just yak. It was just pure yak. I remember this guy. It was old, old guy. He came up to me and Mokan, and his, fi- his pinky was facing the other way. And he's like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm like, pop it back into place. He's like, do it for me. I'm like, I'm not touching your finger. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. I go, I've done it millions of times to my fingers. I'm not touching yours. Yeah. It's I not because it's disgusting. <laughs> it's figure it out yourself. I don't know who guy, that finger's been inside of, so you keep it. You want to hear You want to hear how dumb that guy was? He called an ambulance. He waited at a bear outside for an ambulance. I go, why don't you just drive yourself to the hospital? Yeah. How dumb can people be? I had, <laughs> yeah. I had a mallet finger situation when I was driving home. Like, it doesn't hurt, but my finger's not in the right place. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, 
Olivier Godard had an awful game. Eagle, you can give us some insight. What happened with the uh, Lamas Pajamas offense? It was a very slow game. Um, I think we only had maybe four to five drives each. Um, basically, uh, we started with the ball. We ended up scoring on the first drive, and then he threw a red zone pick on a tip the ball, um, and then we got the ball and scored again. So basically, we ended the first half 12 nothing. They scored at the beginning of the second half, but it like literally, I think we had two drives the second half. We scored on one, and then the other one we closed out the game on. Mm-hmm. Like It was really a sloop, super typical slow Typical Pat Wright win. Yeah. Typical. Yeah, that's fair. It's a classic Pat Wright win. It's, to be honest, I, I would say the, the strategy against lockdown, if you have a quarterback who can run a quick offense, yeah. if you continue to put pressure on, that's when mis- that's when he'll have mistakes. Who calls the D, who calls the D for lockdown? Eagle. Six points this game, boys. If he ever really says good. the word the the word letters S T, S T S T, it means they're running the same yeah, D they call the play. Before. Everyone knows that. So we're just breaking <laughs> it down. Of course they do. <laughs> Maybe the next guys won't. I'm just helping them out, so you guys don't win anything. Um, also, <laughs> pay attention to where Eagle lines up because he's never, never dropping. Yeah, yeah. That's actually incorrect. I played a lot of deep coverage. Really? Oh my God, if I yeah. see that, I'm scoring 70 points. Just throw the ball high. If, if, you, ever ball, see, <laughs> if you ever see any uh, either of us three lined up, we're not going to. I'm not. <laughs> Zero <laughs> balls in my direction. Zero. Not the way my you like it. My coverage was impeccable. I don't think that's what it was. It wasn't, but I didn't get it. <laughs> Uh, perhaps you scared Olivier Godard, a man who was not scared uh, of his big moment. Frank K, big win, beating <laughs> <laughs> Los Pandidos 35-34. Would you like to transition to the next one, Terry? <laughs> sure, I'll try. I'll try. I don't even know what the next topic is. Uh, the next game that's going to be... I'm just here for the looks. If that's fair. Too yeah. bad you're failing. Um, <laughs> so, Frank K, I, I, nothing makes me happier than when Frank K wins. There we go. Now the, there's the looks. There we go. We're missing the hair, Terry. That's what it was, right? Yeah. So whenever whenever Frank K gets a win, I get happy. And in this game here, we even see the odd running touchdown for the man with no Achilles. <laughs> the man with no Achilles? Why? He tore both. Like four times. Oh, okay, but he has them. They're still there. I mean, maybe. Are they functional is the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they exist. It's like he hates running, right? Like he yeah. hates running. He can't. Uh, but yeah, he ran for a touchdown this game. Hey-o. That just shows the competitive side to him. Um, but this roster never gets worse. Like they get older, so they get a little slower. But they never get worse. Yeah. But also, they never get better. It's the same all the time. Is this the same Jeremy Gauthier on uh, Los Bandidos that ran for a thousand yards and as a quarterback? I believe it was. Yeah. Click on his picture, Ease, if you don't mind. No. Um, but we've been saying that, that like, Los nice Bandidos that without without <laughs> without Vincent Benjamin, Los Bandidos would struggle. And like in this game, yeah, it, it, it was uh, Francis Derache just turning the ball over. Uh, 10 and 15 attempts means you're not even on the field. Like You threw a pick almost immediately, right? It means the other offense is just dragging you down and not letting you score, but then whenever you get the ball, you have an opportunity. You lose by one point, and you threw three interceptions. Why does that never happen to me? That's on you. <laughs> yeah. That's 100% on you. Yeah, You just have to be a little bit safer with the ball. Show me how many yards Jeremy Gauthier got that year he rushed. I'm very curious. You're, you're talking about when he actually used to run. Yeah, when he, yeah, yeah, when he was a quarterback. It was like four years ago, I think. Click on rushing. Right. Uh, no. Go up. Seven thirty-five. Seven thirty-five. Okay, it wasn't a thousand, but still seven thirty-five. It's a lot. I think it's the record. Uh, it you should know be what? the record. I don't think anybody's hit over five hundred yards rushing. Maybe. I. I, I think Carboni might have. Uh, oh really? Yeah. And Jason Lachapelle. Back we'll in. We'll find out. Maximum we'll find out right now. In a single season, right? And uh, all we see is Christian Sharantola in her single season. It yeah, was, there it is. Yeah, 735. Oh, so Sebastian Thibault. Yeah, I remember him. 90, Jordan Six, Mitchell, 660. Jordan Mitchell, yeah. Okay, I forgot about Jordan Mitchell. Sebastian Thibault twice. Christian Santola again. Billy Soretis. The lettuce Soretis, man. I, oh, I miss that guy. Yeah, I thought that, I thought he lives in New York. Now. I thought Ch- La Chapelle and, and Carboni both went over six that season, but I, I might be wrong. I guess so. Oh, there's still, he's probably just further down. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. As you were, sir. Um, but yeah, so in this game, the tourney, like, like so, Frank A has that running touchdown, right? And yeah. then you see on the other side, Louis Savoie again gets the pick six, and it turns out that the rushing touchdown of of Frank A was actually the difference maker. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. would think the pick six is the difference maker, instead it's the, it's the r- running the rushing touchdown by a quarterback who who so seldomly runs. Uh, Chocolate Barracudas beat uh, Johnny Fireball, mm, thirty-two to twenty-two. Barracuda. So Barracuda is a, a type of fish. That's right. You can't eat it, apparently. Can't you not? No, I think it's too many bones. But you can eat can it. Can you just eat it on the bones? Maybe. Like every other fish? 
Can you? It's a good question. Eagle, can you find out if uh, you can eat a barracuda? Yeah, I'm you can very put it in curious. a blender. I could put you in a blender. Mm. Hey, oh, fact. Find out if you can eat a barracuda. <laughs> we need to know. Or is that why it's chocolate? Uh, Sonny Elias had in. in Barracudas a- are popular both as fish and game fish. They are most oh. uh, most often eaten as fillets or steaks. Larger ah, so species they are have implicated mm. in cases of sugua sigua- terra food poisoning. Chinguatera. No, yeah. not Cinque Terre. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny Elias had a great... I'm in the East End of Montreal. You can't go. Great Apparently, preliminary. Barracuda is outstanding. And if it's steak, that means they're, they're meaty. But you can only eat it in certain months of the year because it can contain higher levels of that toxin. And like mercury. Cinque Terre toxin. Like what months are those? I don't know. Well, then how do we know when to I order it, Eagle? Why are you... It's a surprise. The next thing I was going to do is Uber eat some Barracudas up in here. <laughs> Um, Sonny Elias but similarly Sonny Elias uh, had a preliminary game a preliminary part of the season where he looked amazing the the qualification round he looked like he had eaten some toxins (laughs) now back to his form where he throws five touchdowns he ate some barracudas in the wrong months yeah in the off months looks like this back in season (laughs) yeah yeah back in season five touchdowns 220 yards (laughs) eight catches to Chris Williams for two touchdowns um, and you know, in the past, like the the all, the offense always ran through Luson Pierre. Yeah, uh, Chris Williams getting in as the main guy in this game. Yeah, I mean, um, Sonny Elias, he's not he's not your he's not gonna threaten you on the f- on the ground, right? Why is that? He's not fast. Correct. <laughs> not fast. <laughs> much much like That's you and all. I, Terry. It looks like he's eating oh, too I much speak barracuda. For yourself. I did. I said much like you and I, Terry. <laughs> but you spoke for me as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I spoke for myself <laughs> and yourself. Um. I'm I'm really not surprised. They just they, they have the athletes to play. They have the athletes to win. I mean, but I, I'm not not I'm not surprised at the way they played. I'm more surprised on the other side is that for them to not produce because normally for Jolly Fireball they're they, they're heavy offensively. No, they're, they're, they're solid. Yeah. They're, they're, I mean, they're, they're one of the <coughs> worst teams in the in the tier. But Martel, you know, they uh, they, they generally do score. Yeah, Martel. I mean, uh, crazy athlete. There's some guys that uh, that if your quarterback isn't on point. No matter how good you are, you're not gonna be able to break a game. Mm-hmm. And th- and this tier, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it, you 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 can't allow yourself. And I think that's what that's what happened with Johnny Fireball is that they let the game, they let Sonny Elias control the game. And Sonny Elias, as soon as he he's very capable, we've seen it happen. We've seen it happen a bunch of times this year. And uh, but you, this is the ma- this is the the score that you would think. This is the result that you would think would happen. Eagle, there was one game in tier one. Oh, uh, all hooks and like wait. Oh yes, there was. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't understand how Simon has a chance to win a bowl. I don't understand why he's alive. Hmm. Yeah. Philosophical questions. Yeah. Why? You want to be a philosopher? Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> well, done. <laughs> I just I just went with the yes. I didn't even listen <laughs> to your question. Just I say just, why. Yep. I'm a philosopher now. Why not? Eh, Anti philosophy. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why? That's f- throw me throw me for a loop. I know. You must have your master's in philosophy. <laughs> I basically do. I basically do. Um no, Simon played a clean game and again, it's it's we se- we we postulated that when there's good Simon, he's hard to beat. Uh, the this look on my face, this one right here, <laughs> is because I spoke to a team member of Simon mm-hmm. and he was he's he said that Simon uh ignores the right side completely, yeah. which he usually does. Wide right we call it. Yeah, that <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, wide, wide bench. Wide, wide bench. Wide bench. Uh, that player has uh, had a good game in this game. Fossil Hood? No. No, Chris Millard. Yeah. Why would he put him there? Okay, he, no, but see, I think Simo put him there that season. Yeah. This season to like force himself to go there. Okay, but he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Did he not? Or was it just because by Chris's standards, he won the ball once? It's like, it's like you, it's like you want to quit smoking, so you stop buying cigarettes, but yet you bum cigarettes off people. Yeah. But I don't buy anymore, so, you know. Or you want to stop smoking cigarettes, but then you just start taking heroin. Sure. I, yeah, Chris Millard is heroin. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. addicted to him. Yeah, that's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. <laughs> uh, it's the all hooks problem. It's the easy W problem. It's the same group of guys. Incredible athleticism and the defense is lacking. They needed to make a stop. Uh, Still, Levine made had got intercepted one time by Justin Lerner. Simon Dagne able to protect the ball, and that's the difference in the game. I'm just I'm just surprised by. Um, actually. This is what the, it should have been, but the thing is, the, the score should have been because um, that's the scores that happened. Exactly. Okay. Because the way they scored points counted amounted to the amount of points that mm. scored, and that's why we have the result that we have. Um, <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is that EZW are absolutely lost on defense. All hooks as well. Uh, uh, sorry, all hooks. Well, it's the same, same group guys. Of guys yeah. Same guys. 
Both got, uh, lost on defense. All crazy but like, athletes. I was gonna say like, have, lost. Uh, and I asked this on the last show, and you, you weren't here, obviously. Yeah. Do you know why, or how a it's team that's that that's that <laughs> athletic can be that bad on defense? Uh, because they all think they can make the play, mm-hmm. and they do not know how to call defenses in this league. And when you play against a guy like Simon Dajne. You need to know how to call a defense because regardless, we can make fun of Simon for years. Yeah, but it's less fun because he's not it's on the show not anymore. That we, not that we can make fun of him. We, we will have. make fun yeah, of him. We, we have, have. We will. I just I can't wait for his funeral. The party's gonna be lit. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be I making. I can't wait for his funeral. We're gonna be talking so much shit. Is what he said, Eagle. I cannot wait for Simon's funeral. Is what yeah. Pete just said. We don't know because like I don't it's want him to die. Don't, don't, don't if GM don't, is listening, that's an untweetable right there. Don't don't <laughs> mistake me. Don't mistake me. I don't want him to die. I just think it's to be a fun party. Yeah. So like, however long it takes you to die. Yeah. Like I'm not saying right <laughs> away. Like just like whenever. Like we will celebrate the life. Of when Simone. you when you had to pass away at 98 years old, you know Terry and I are gonna have a blast making fun of you. Yeah, because we'll be 100. Yeah. Yeah. 103 in my case. Yeah. And uh, Sophie will be like, I'm free! <laughs> About time. <laughs> no, he's going to have run out of money. <laughs> <laughs> I just so, realized that joke, it, it, it could be mistaken for the opposite way that I mean it. So we'll make fun of Simo up until his funeral and then make fun of him again after, at his funeral. Yeah. But the reality is that he actually knows how to throw a ball. Of course. And he knows how Sometime, to throw a well, ball. Wait, that's not his best attribute. He has a strong arm. Yes, that's what I mean. And, yeah, and, yeah. and he, he calls matter. good plays and yeah. makes good reads. Uh, but he also... Uh, good reads, no. Well, the good, re- he ma- he'll make a good read here and there against a uh, a really bad defense, but he, against a good defense, he will not. Well, no, but see, I I don't I don't agree. I think he 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 makes good reads, but he also he gets away with having a strong arm so often yeah. that he'll try to fit it in. He's like he'll see something, and be like, okay, if I could put it into this tiny window, back shoulder, um, guaranteed, my guy's gonna make a catch. And either he gets drops because it's a tough catch to make, or yeah. he gets intercepted. So the thing about I, Simone I've is played that with him so long, he's so stubborn. Yeah, when he tries to force it. It's a pick. Yeah. It usually is. When he's has time and he's able to overthrow and his receivers are getting behind the defenders, which in this game they did because all hooks don't know what to call defense, is that it, it worked for him. And he's able to to turn around and just gun it to learn. But, but the frustrating thing too is <laughs> I guess in this case it was Isaiah. He has things he has things that are open all the time. And he's always looking next level. Mm-hmm. And then if that's kind of there, he'll force it in instead, instead of taking like the wide open receiver in the flat. Yeah, that's true. It's it's almost as if he makes his reads uh, in reverse. Like he makes it uh, second level, third level, first level. Well, it's because he wants to attack deep. deep so he, he's, yeah. He, yeah, you're right. Like it's intermediate. Then can I put it over the top? No. Okay. No. Now I got to check it out. Yeah. And then, and then his feet aren't set right. Yeah, exactly. And you know. Yeah. And the timing's not entirely there, but yeah, that's that, that's true. He does do that. He does do that. But yeah, ha- I think he has the most interceptions in FPF history. He also has like the most touchdowns, or, or third most, third most touchdowns, fourth most something. So. Kevin White has the most touchdowns. The good and the bad. Yeah. And now Simo's going to be in Div Two. Yeah, about time. I like the good and the bad, but I really like not the ugly, the great. So let's talk a little bit about the award winners for this year. Um, I will list them. You will list them. Yeah. Do I have to great. update these also? I mean, I would imagine so. Yeah, I guess so. I think I have to do it for spring. Did I win an award? You did not. No. Nah, God, Jesus Christ, no. That's a shame. Because they're merit-based. Do you want to oh, start? They are. Oh, tier they are. One. It's weird because... You want to go tier one, two, three? You want to do all the Tier one. Yeah, it's tier two or one. Quarterback, goes, quarterback of the year goes to Dylan Taylor. Woo! Makes sense. They best, were the provi- best, best prohibitive team. favorites of the division, and yeah. he performed. Uh, Jeremy White gets wide receiver of the year, which is pretty impressive for a guy Whoa. who's not been a receiver in the highest divisions in FPF. Uh, change your picture, Jeremy. Yeah, definitely. Or, you know, you look just, creepy as shit. Maybe just cut the hair, like give up on it. I think you know. But his hair looks good in person, because it's the, the it's got a lot of volume back here. Yeah, yeah. Like it feels like he f- he just didn't hit his hair dryer that day. What's uh, next? Patrick Jason, DB of the year again, Whoa. impressive, very impressive. I get two guys who don't typically yeah. play high, high division. The thing I keep saying, Terry, is there's talent all over FPF. Guys got to be willing to look for it. This is proof. Oh, Patrick like Jason and Jeremy White. I, I found out who Patrick was when he did a spring cleaning uh, last two springs ago, beat us in the first round of the playoffs, and he was rushing Holowack, and he ruined him. Yeah. A very oh, good player. Patrick Jason, he's, he's excellent no matter where you put him on the field. Yeah. Not so much a quarterback. Nope. All the other positions, yes. <laughs> um, and I lost the page. Two-way player of the year. Goes Terry, you have one guess? Hmm. One guess. Yeah. I'm gonna say my. It hey. is. John wow. I you know what? This year I haven't looked at any stats. And I don't even know that you're just like who's the best player. Even in our <laughs> coin toss against uh, Braves, yeah. I thought we were home. And he's like, "What are you talking about? We have one loss. You guys have two. 
I said, oh, okay, I haven't looked at the standings once. I just assumed we were better than you. <laughs> you just said, guy who gives a shit, it's 50 50 anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> so, yeah, but. Uh, no, because in playoffs you choose. Oh, it's in the playoffs, okay. Yeah, exactly. But uh, Maru is a uh, great player, man. Very much I so. I can't, uh, can't say enough good things about the guy. Tier two, quarterback of the year, despite having a terrible, terrible postseason performance, Ben Wallaller. So. But he, you can't argue regular season. I can't, yeah, you can't. I mean, he was awesome. What am I going to say? Congrats to Ben Wallace. Great arm. Make an Very argument. Good arm. <laughs> I can't. He won. All right. <laughs> Wide receiver, Danny Elward. Uh, Danny, uh, Danny, big moment, uh, Sege, for sure. Yeah, he's great at the push off. He's amazing at the push off. Yeah. He's also amazing at showing how deep he's going to be covering. On defense. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, that's true. He but li- he'll line up in the end zone if he has to. But this is receiver of the year. And yeah, not so we defensive don't care player of the year. Because defensive player of the year goes to your favorite. Good on you, Danny. Riley Pinecomb. Oh, really? Yeah. Mazel tov. <laughs> Apparently. Don't, don't know if he's Jewish. Uh, don't Mazel think so. <laughs> Al Goody. Uh, Two way player of the year goes to a man who's already holding an award earlier tonight. A man with terrible hair, Jeremy White. Guy, oh, seriously, play, hit your hair dryer. It's, get for e, it's for easy W because he plays quarterback. Yeah, get get some like moose or some shit. Like anything like, that some gets volume, you volume. You know? Like your hair's very thin anything already enough as it is. Just more volume. Know? Like figure it out, kid. Tier three quarterback of the year goes to Mitch Fergenbaum. That's a great name. Yes. And he does. If you okay, I have no idea who this guy is. But if you <laughs> told me, yeah, if you asked me what's this guy's name, Josh Smith mm. Mm. does not look like a freaking bomb. It's true. It's true. Maybe you uh, look like a freaking bomb. Daryl White guy. Daryl White guy is a good one, but I feel like there's like a little bit of Latin in there, like from Spain. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? I love like how this is supposed to be the moment where, like, uh, you know, appreciating <laughs> their accolades. Yeah. And they're like, you look weird. <laughs> no, I'm not, he doesn't look. He's a good looking guy. Mitchell Tapas. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good looking guy, but you know, he looks like he's from Barcelona. Mm. I'll mm. say that. John Zapatos. That's his name? Yeah. That's, you gave it. Johnny change his name, Shoes? Change his name yeah. on the website <laughs> the to John, John Zapatos. <laughs> um, and Freaking Bomb, if you Freaking Bomb, look for your name as Freaking Bomb. You won't find it. You'll find, won't find it because your name is going to be Zapatos. But if you're looking for Spanish shoes, you will find your you name. You will find it. Benjamin Ziegler wins. Big Ben. Wide receiver of the year. Also, his name is Benji and not Benjamin. Benji Ziegler wins. Receiver it's, of the his year. name is actual Benji? Benji. Well, it's on the site, Benji. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably short for yeah. Benjamin. Anyway. Or Benji Word. I'm a big fan. Big fan of Ziegler. Of Ben Jeward? Of, of Dirk Diggler. No. He's, he, <laughs> nice, of I am too. <laughs> he's, he's fast. As, he's he's fast a great as player. He's a very good player. I'm very impressed though. Yeah, Good absolutely. on you. Mazel um, tov. Mazel tov. <laughs> Mazel tov to both of them. Freaking bomb and to Ziegler. Uh, defensive player of the year came from the worst defensive team in uh, Tier 3 from one of the Niners. Uh, Kevin Donnett. That's your team. Yeah. He was very good, though. But he everyone is, else was terrible. He is a good player. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to say it's weird how the worst defensive team gets it. But well, you know he, he got there's stats. always one guy that gets the <laughs> And he only rushes, so he's all. No, no, he was uh, DB. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. he was okay. Uh, two way player of the year goes to Ben Reed. I don't know who this guy is. He played quarterback. Uh, he has a cannon. What team? Les OG. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. He has an interesting system where he, he runs two guys like at tight hair. levels. And, like, let's say he's picking on you. Like, yeah. he'll have, like, a slant in front of you and a hook right behind you, and literally when you take one step, Bam. he throws so hard it gets to the, the to, to whatever he's reading. I like, I like these kinds speed. of guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like these kinds of guys. Yeah, big boy. What? Is he big? The moment they catch the ball, they cut with speed. So you're stepping in the wrong direction, and then they're running right by you. Oh, okay, yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. It's a smart like system. It's super simple. Maybe not as he moves up, he'll have to change some things up. But Naturally. definitely, definitely very impressed with what I saw with him this season. And in the past, he used to like really tell and like stare down his receivers, not doing that anymore. So Good. glad to see that. Eagle, what time is it? Yeah, it is time for a preview of the finals. Ooh. Eagle has like a little booger sticking out of Because we have... You got a bat in the cave? You got, no. a, you got a little... Okay, I'll fix it. I'll fix I'm just it. saying, it's just every time you talk, it moves. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so tier one... We have BYOB versus Lightweight, and we have Boy. STL versus Braves U. Barf. Um, yeah, ST- so like, here's the thing. Uh, STL versus Braves U is the best matchup, right? It's what you thought would have happened. But my God, is that boring. <laughs> like, yeah, because Vinny's game should have be been there. I know. But no, but the, the game, the game yeah. itself um, is fine. It just the, it, it'll be fine. It'll, it, it's, it's what you want, right? It's the most talent on the field. But like, there's no Cinderella story, right? Like at the top. STL is going to win. Perhaps. I mean, as as good as Maher is and as good as George Garipi is and as good as JD are, um, 
I think just STL is just they've played together forever. It's the same guys and Paul Pierre down the middle. There's nobody who's gonna be able to cover that on that team. Yeah, because it's well, unless you legit, you have to like legit man him with Getty P, and that's a bit of a waste. But I will say this about the Braves is that they know how to call a defense better than anybody in the league. Well, we saw it last in the league in the last uh, bowl season that I can remember. Maybe it was the first one we saw Paul Pierre. Um, unable, having trouble scoring against uh, the Braves in the red zone with only five defenders. It's true. It's and true. Paul Pierce is a very competent quarterback. I, I, I've played against the Braves in um, three, f- two finals, mm-hmm. two finals, and seven times before that. And uh, in the red zone, I don't, I don't remember. Like we were pretty good in the red zone, but they are very good at defending in the red zone for sure. They're just so reactive. Like, yeah, that's it. It's not that they're gonna bite on something and leave something behind them. They, they, yeah. They're aware of everything around them. They that's do not the leave the corners open. The middle, for some reason, is plugged. Like I don't know. It's very impressive. Very. What you, you pick? I'm gonna say STL. Score. Uh, thirty-nine to thirty-two. If that makes sense, yeah. Nobody Three. cares to score, Terry. <laughs> Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> you can't not pick Braves. You, I'm picking Braves. You. I'm I'm going to go with Braves. You as well, but I, I think it'll be a close game, and I I wouldn't be surprised if Steel wins. I wouldn't be surprised if Braves. You wins. Yeah, same. Here. It's the best two teams in the tournament playing against each other for a thousand dollars cash. Congratulations on being boring. Yeah. Uh, Screw you. BYOB take on lightweight. Um, I like lightweight's roster overall. Uh, yeah. whether it's you know Chris Miar and and um. Isaiah Lard, oh, yeah. just two giants. Um, and Hendrik Ambrose is a guy who's played with him now for a long time. Yeah. Um, Justin Lerner, great player. Justin Lerner. Francois Hogg's shown Small. he's can played in Div 1. Francois um, Hogg plays in every division, so it doesn't matter. Uh, no, no, I'm saying, but he, he showed he could compete in Div 1, and like now he's yeah. he's, he's back here. So more Eddie Lee, more an underappreciated defensive player. If he's in the country. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know where Eddie His Lee life is. looks amazing. Eddie Lee's got a good life, man. Yeah. He's got, he, the other day, he was in an in, in, in exotic Terban. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's rare you get to go to Terban. I hear it's wonderful this time of year. Yeah, it's actually yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, no, you know who's from Terban? Who? The Braves. Yeah, we t- it's not a good transition. Really. <laughs> Can't transition backwards. <laughs> if only we had started with BYOB and Lightweight. Yeah, you know who might be from uh, Terban? Who? Matt Rene. <laughs> How do you think Matt Rene will do against uh, Lightweight? I That's a transition. I do not think he's going to know what to do with Isaiah rushing him. Is Isaiah rushing? He should rush him. I, th- I agree with you. He should. But I don't Who believe he has. I think it's oh, Francois, Francois is yeah. rushing. Francois is a good rusher too. They have, they have three very good rushers. It's just the height of Matt Rene. You kind of want Isaiah Lard in there, right? Also, you you also rather Isaiah in covers than Francois. All due respect to Francois, Isaiah is a better cover guy than he is. Yeah. So I can understand that aspect. But if you take Isaiah and put him against Matt Rene, it's a game changer. So what you're saying is you cut Francois. Yeah, get him off. You, and then t- you clone Isaiah. Yeah. You tell exactly. him you tell him the games on a different day. Yeah, uh, and you go to where they clone Paul Rudd for that Netflix show. What's that? You I go to where they clone Paul Rudd for the show. Yourself. Living, Living with yourself. Yeah. What is it? It's a show where he's depressed, so he goes to a clinic and they. I love Terry can't just let the joke sit and needs it to be explained yeah. to him. Yeah, always. That's making it terrible because you can't throw a joke at me without just, me understanding. And then just he, laugh. He, he, and he wakes up on. super happy and life <laughs> is going really well, and then his depressed self shows up at his door, and now there's two of them. That's the show. Uh, this sounds mm-hmm. very interesting, and I'm gonna and look it's at Paul it. Rudd, so it's gonna be good. Yeah. I'm gonna look at it on Netflix, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, maybe another time, and then never watch it. Both of them will end up banging his wife because maybe. I don't think Paul. I mean, uh, he's funny. He's very funny and very handsome. He's actually a good looking guy. But I don't yeah. know. I just I get bored of him a little bit. Mm, I mean, he's no Brendan Fraser, but you know, I'm I'm a Fraser head, man. I'm a Fraser head. Fraser head, yeah. That's Mummy and Sino Man. Man's coming back, eh? Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> That's it. Like, like he he was with Polly Shore in in Sino Man, thus making him part of the Polyverse. All right, tier two. The first of the chocolate teams, Chocolate Thunder, go up against <laughs> Diablos. Oh, that's yes. a good game. Yeah. Uh, well, so f- I was playing Matt Lepage th- uh, last weekend, and he was actually impressed with Francois Martin saying like. This is a game where he finally like just took what the defense was giving him, yeah. drove the field, was very disciplined. Can he do that twice? Uh, yes. Because? Because he, uh, for some reason, the Abels are always there. And he the, the moment doesn't get bigger. for. They seem to play there. better in, in yeah. postseason. That's Except true. for when we formed the union in that overnight tournament and George... Uh, and I always Georgia Levoye, yeah, yeah, and George Olivier dropped two touchdowns. Yes, to on win the, the last game. drive. Yeah, yeah, the last drive to win the game, and you dropped them. Yeah. But anyway, that was like five years ago. So Diablos for the win. Uh, perhaps, perhaps. Um, for Chocolate Barracudas, uh, sorry, for Chocolate Thunder, who's who's the uh, the key to them? 
Like who who's the one who's going to make life difficult for uh for Diablos? Um I need to see the roster. Top of my head, I cannot remember. Oh, I just want to make sure that I know everybody. And it's it's it look, it's, it's Oh, okay, there. Oh, I know this team. It's a lot of the you guys plus Jadaridi. I should have known this because I have like two teammates on this team. Yeah. Nikki Papich, is he in town? Is the question. He might not be in town. I don't know that. So then is it Tim Horner? Um or Kyle Pedvis? Jad Reedy. Not Jad, not anymore. It's no offense, Jad. So uh, oldness. Oldness got the best of him? N- no, he got the Terry Tam. He got the gut. Mm. Yeah, the gut slowed mm. him down a bit and then pulled his hammy. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Um It's that's what happens. Like you start working and then like, I have money, <laughs> I can afford food. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Joe Cano, man. Joe Cano. Yeah. Yeah, Joe Cano for me is uh as obnoxious as he can be, great guy. He is a very intense human being, and he does not let a moment yeah, gets, slip by. He gets more intense about FPF than I get about anything in my life. He's very intense. I like it though. It's like it's if you if you don't know him, it's very annoying. But I'm gonna say Joe Cano is the you X factor. He's very intense or very dense. Intense. Okay, that was better. No, he's not dense <laughs> at all. <laughs> I mean, I haven't. I haven't seen if he floats, so it depends. I don't know his density. Um, <laughs> ice up. Ice up takes on Les Santal. I feel like he's like a boulder. You just put him in the water <laughs> and he falls. Ice up take on Les Santal. Uh, Les Santal have impressed. They got to bowl game. The the defense had all sorts of question marks. They played really well last week. Uh, knocking off. Uh, we talked about it a little bit before. Locked off. Uh, knocked off Benoit, Benoit Lawler and a Team Ethnic. Now they take on another giant in Ice up. But I feel like this is the worst possible draw for them. So yeah. So I'm gonna go hard on Ice up in this game. Um, Which what, what about them gets you the hardest? Uh, Mickey Marini gets me the hardest okay. about ISOP. Yeah, I am Mickey Marini is um, there is nobody that's in this league that's gotten me harder than Mickey Marini. That's impressive. Yeah, that's very impressive. And it's the short shorts. It's the really the the fast the uh, the breakout speed. I'm big fan. Big fan. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I just feel like there's just too much on this team when you look at the guys like Shaq Lattimore, Kyle McGuigan, um, oh, Kyle. Jordan McInnes. Okay. I could talk years about Kyle McGuigan. Great How about guy. you give us just 12 seconds? Uh, Kyle McGuigan has lost a lot of weight. He okay. used to be super jacked. Mm-hmm. And somehow, he's gotten better. Yeah. He just just thinned out now. That's it. Yeah. It's less roids, less roid rage. Maybe. More football. I will never accuse somebody without knowing of them being on roids. I will. I'm, I, I, just know think I just think that he's like, fuck it. I'm not going to lift 400 pounds anymore. Yeah. It gets tiring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, when your back hurts. Yeah. You know, I've I, been I, I, Except, I, like, he lost weight. I gained it. I have to imagine, like, you get at one point, dudes like that just get to the gym and, are like, no, 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 yeah. no, I'm nope. done. And done. you start talking to the deadlift bar. Nope. <laughs> not going to touch you today. Not going to happen. I will do cardio yeah. and then have an asthma attack <laughs> once a week. <laughs> this guy on the elliptical machine puffing away. Mm. That's me. That's impressive. Yeah. How do the ladies feel about you using their elliptical machine? <laughs> Is that a segue? Uh, yes. Red yes, Raiders. Red Raiders. <laughs> my condolences. Um, <laughs> this is another case where I just think it's a bad matchup. I don't know if if uh, Jeremy and got level one going. I know. I know. <laughs> it's not gonna get. There. I, had to, I had to like change topics so we didn't get to level two. That was a good one. Uh, Red <laughs> Red Raiders, I think, are a bad matchup. Oh, we didn't make picks. For ice oh, up. I got ice up for you sure. You got, ice and up. I'm and I'm changing it and to and I'm changing it to Chocolate Thunder. Ice up. And Chuck the Thunder or Diablos? Uh, Diablos. I'm going to go Chuck the Thunder because I hate Diablos. Um, Red Raiders. Who do my picks count for today then? Nobody's? Because yeah, that guy depends what, Ana- it depends what Ignacio does. Yeah, okay, Ignacio. Yeah, add a, a separate column for me. I'm good, thanks. No, thank you. Too much I'm, I'm doing a show. Eat I'm, your I can't be eating. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I mean, that. who would do that? <laughs> <laughs> Red Raiders taking on my condolences. Um... I, again, I think this is just a, a tough matchup. I don't know. I don't know that Jeremy Anderson can put up the uh, the points to keep up. Um, that said, you know the when they're at their best is when um, guys like either Ben McMahon or Travis Moses, just super shifty guys, super mm-hmm. fast guys. Are they not going to be there? Um, I believe they will be there. Oh, okay, okay. I'm saying sure. when they're at their best, it's when they have big oh, games. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, so if they have a chance, if they're going to have a chance, it's going to have to be them. Can you make a case for my condolences beating? Red Raiders. Oh yeah, what's I mean, the case? I, I really think that they will, will beat them. Like I'm not even like my case is that the moment will become bigger than what the Red Raiders mm-hmm. can handle, and Jeremy Anderson and Jeff Rosenblatt is he's still on the team, right? I'm not. I'm not yes, crazy. he is. Travis and Benji, these guys are just great players in this league. Nothing against the players on Red Raiders, 
I just think that my condolences have this. My condolences were they they lost like a tough game throughout the uh, early in the year. They made an adjustment, mm-hmm. just like a like a post game talking to Jeremy, and then ever since then he's been on fire. Mm-hmm. So I think that Jeremy Anderson is going to go off. On and I've played team. I've played with uh, Jeremy Anderson very smart guy. and and Travis Moses. And the one thing I'll notice is um, they're guys who. They know how to elevate their teammates yeah. in a way you don't expect. They, you know, like I know they, they come from No Regard Tree. No Regard's famous for talking, whatever. Yeah. But when they were on our team, there was games where they didn't start the way we wanted to. And you'd expect, oh, these are guys, these are guys going to like get pissed off. And Nope. They were absolute team guys. Got everyone on, got them yeah. focused, got everyone on the right page. And honestly, uh, it's, it's, I've played cool. with, I played with Jeremy. I've never, I haven't played with any of the other guys, but I can, yeah, I can agree to that. Also, Jeremy, for some reason, is always selling a car on Facebook. <laughs> it's always the same Civic that nobody Oh, wants. it is? Oh, I thought it was a different I, one. I think it's always the same one. I mean, like, it, it looks like it's all right. And it looks like I mean, it's I a good price. Pay, so. I would not going to spend 500 bucks on that car, though. Correct. Why? What? Bump it down to two fifty. Maybe somebody will buy it. Two fifty. You got. You got enough for. You got enough for here from. No, no, I'm not buying it. Terry I mean, time two fifty. I just told you him what he got. I just told him one. Don't hear two fifty one. Uh, one forty. <laughs> one forty. So <laughs> high offer right now. One forty to Eagle. Um, we have some comments from uh, Residente Mocan. Oh he says God. Red Raiders are a <laughs> constipated bunch. Jadaridi pulled his hamstring back in September. Yeah. He wants a poll question. Will Mike Roy celebrate by watching 18 plus movies? Mm. And lastly, he says, or. His 19 movies or, or more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or <laughs> should Eagle bring Francois on another European vacation? It wasn't a vacation, it was a work trip, Mo. You would know that if you work. Um, I'm going to say that. And adding commas in your tweets doesn't make you working. I'm going to say Mike Roy will celebrate because he's going to win this game. And he's going to do so by watching 18 plus movies because the Disney app came out and there's so many movies you can watch there. So you're going Red Raiders? Yeah. And Eags, what are you going? I'm going Red Raiders. I just Why? Went, I went for the joke. You guys are off. <laughs> you're so off your meds. Yeah. I stopped thinking yeah. years ago. Stop judging me. <laughs> <laughs> and tier three, we have Threat Level Midnight taking on Rogues in the highest matchup, I'm drawing, I believe. I'm drawing a blank here. So Threat Level Midnight is is a team run by uh, Joe Lemieux and yes, J.D. Okay, Jolly okay, yeah, and those guys. Yeah. Um, J.D. Jolly. What a good looking guy that guy is. Yeah. yeah, and very tall. It's often said that the thing you can least coach in FPF is being very tall. And J.D. Jolly has that. I mean, how do you coach tall? Um, if I knew, I'd be good. <laughs> by <laughs> If you're eagle, stepping on phone books. So it's hard for me to go against... Um, to go against uh, Threat Level Midnight because of the just 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 on the FPF experience. Uh, you say that, but look, we have uh, well, they got God League, they got friggin' bomb. Yeah, even so though I just saw the way you pronounce or spell his name, and it's not friggin' bomb. I said friggin' bomb. Go back and listen to the tape. So you were saying you friggin' bomb. So friggin why bomb. wouldn't you guys? Why wouldn't you? First of all, have his name on the screen. Two, why wouldn't you correct me? Because we're good teammates. And is it because you know who we are good teammates? Mitch friggin' bomb, Benji Ziegler, both award winners. And from they this come team. to this matchup. So that's, that's how you one. transition, mofo. <laughs> so if we're going to continue calling him friggin' bomb. We're not. John Zapatos. <laughs> John Zapatos. My John mistake. Zapatos. So John Zapatos. Yeah, John Zapatos. They will have a nice time winning this game. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Adam Rabinovich, another guy. Uh, very, very talented. I just think there's too much speed. And Threat Level Midnight, one of the things they don't have is youth and speed. And Is Matt Domo on Threat Level Midnight? I believe so. If he's on threat level midnight, they will lose. Matt Damal loses in finals like it's nobody's business. Mm. Yeah, but he closes furniture like it's nobody's <laughs> business as well. Um, so I got rolled. So I, I would say, like you know, this, this game here, what's going to come down to for you? Like, what's what's going to be the deciding factor? Um, it's going to be, it's a it's a very simple answer, but it's going to be turnovers. And and at one point. Um, I think the rogue are they can benefit from a close game and a turnover late in the game kind mm-hmm. of thing. Like not, maybe not late in the game, with like ten minutes left in the in the second half, and uh, and I think they'll they'll benefit from that. Just be, but take, be able to take the ball away from threat, threat level midnight. Um, it's so like if you're pick eagle. So Benji's eagle. I'm gonna MVP. go threat level midnight. You way too much sugar. I'm going rogue. I will also go I rogues. Mid. You can lock that down. Lockdown takes on chocolate barracudas in the next tier three game. So we're clearly picking chocolate barracudas, though. I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. of talent Unanimous. and lack of talent. Because of uh, Pat Riot, and because he can never throw more than three touchdowns in a game. 
Okay, next. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I've seen it. I've seen him. The thing is, is he, that obviously both, he's done it. Both he of these teams are in, incredibly easy to match up against schematically, yeah. but then you need to have the athletes to do it. Sure. So you need to take away uh, what's his name. Jo- uh, Fontaine, Sean Fontaine. Sean Fontaine. I forgot his first name. Sorry, Sean. You got to take away Sean Fon- Fontaine. I always mix Sean Fontaine w- with Sean Lafortune. Always. They're very different. I know, but their names are close. Because they're different people. They yeah. don't even share DNA. Nope. They do. Like, lo- they also I mean, look nothing they alike. They kind of do. Do they? I'm sure there's some DNA that's shared. There's DNA that's shared everywhere. Correct. So what are you saying with their moms? I mean, we're <laughs> basically siblings. <laughs> you and Sean Lafontaine? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> um, so, where the genetics go wrong there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll show you where it went wrong. <laughs> no, no, right no, no. Sure. It's that he had coaching. I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, you got coached tall. Yeah, tall coaching. <laughs> um, so, so the thing is, you can know what he's doing, and he's still so physical and such a good route runner that yeah. it doesn't matter. And then on the other side, it's Pierre Luson and Chris Williams, and you either have the speed to take that away or you don't. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Lockdown has the speed to take it away. I will say uh, Eagles defense will make it so that there's no easy completions, but it comes down to if Sonny Elias is... E- if he goes dropping... Well, yeah, then you know. But if Sonny Elias is, is accurate enough to take advantage uh, of that speed, I think I think Chocolate Barracuda will have the advantage. Ooh, Barracuda. What do you yeah, think, Terry? I How do you think going, this game goes? I am going Chocolate Barracudas. With that, I'm going to say uh, Sonny Elias throws a very efficient game. Uh, four TDs, maybe an interception. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be Eagle. And they will win mm-hmm. uh, 29, if that's possible. I'll say 28. You'll get all the extra points. Okay. I'll say 28 to... 22. Eagle. And that's... Th- I'm clearly going to pick my own team here. And that's three Selfish. touchdowns with two two-point conversions if you guys go for them. Do you guys go for two-pointers? Uh, yes, we do. Okay, so you guys Selfish. are going to get two of them. So it's going to be 28 to 22. Pardon my swag versus... I had a settle. I didn't even make my pick. Okay, go, go. You're What's not your picking me. No, I'm picking I'm picking chocolate barracudas. Yes. And I was, I was gonna say it's gonna take you some black magic to Stop get it. over chocolate barracudas. Voodoo take on <laughs> part of my swag. <laughs> there isn't much there isn't something that I hate more in life than me than are your awful segues. <laughs> it was perfect. It was perfect. It's because you're so proud of them. Yeah. That's why how bad. Hey, they are. I, I just stare at you I too. hate them. Uh yeah, so this is gonna be a t- this is gonna be the classic You've never moved up a division game. Mm. Part of my swag versus Voodoo. I think I've played against both these guys a hundred times eight years ago. Yeah, yeah, fair. Um, move up. The thing is, you know what both of these teams are going to do. Yeah, and and the, you know that. So you know the weaknesses of Frank K. You need to play tight defense. Well, you, know, you know that Brad. You know Brad Evans struggles with reading with making uh, like the backside of the route yeah. read. So like if he throws a post. If you have a safety crashing from the other side, he doesn't see it often. He sees half the on field. On slants, he doesn't. He reads the route, but doesn't always read the other yeah. side of the route. Uh, it's something he's improving on, yeah. though. But um, so. the thing is, um, weaknesses. You can know team. that, and then it's just a question of how you're going to stop it. Because again, they're still generally efficient anyway. Weaknesses of this game are f- uh, Frank K's Achilles, mm-hmm. automatic weakness. Well, they are weak. And Brad they, Evans is. Um, his uh, mental weakness to not wear Hawaiian shirts. Yeah, I know. If he just wore it once. Yeah, just, wore, just do that's it. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Just, just got to wear it once. That's wear it, it to the game. Yeah. Pease and I will see you wear it, Brad. And then we won't say it ever again. I will not see it. I'll be in Atlanta. Enjoy the bowl games. I'll be following on Instagram. Well, nobody if you want If you want to watch the game, <laughs> nobody <laughs> picks. Part of my swag. I'm going part of my swag. <laughs> I'm going to go voodoo. I think they have a good matchup here. Yeah. I am like it's, voodoo. It's a tight game. I'm going voodoo. Um... So, like I was saying, guys, uh, if you want to watch the games, make sure that you do so on Instagram Live. Uh, Instagram. That is the place to catch them. Uh, I'm going to be in a hot tub, several beers in. Uh, I'll be watching them from a distance. Mo says, should we be worried for a threat at midnight? Does the Voodoo nickname have any swag? Uh, mm. Well, and swag, and then he corrected it with any swag. Um, I would say the Voodoo name has exactly three swag. And what was the other question? Uh, uh the, is there a threat at midnight? Never. Never. And it's only if you feed the gremlins after midnight. Eagle, thank you for reading those questions. Hey, Whoa, thanks thank for you a fun again. season. It was fun. It was fun. Uh, it was I different. can't I can't wait to not see your face for a little bit. It's gonna be the best. <laughs> yeah. We're actually gonna see him just as often. I know, because we have a show coming <laughs> up next. Right after. Remember on Hot Sauce Sports Facebook page, you can watch our show live next. You and I will be swearing a lot more. You will absolutely be hearing us swear. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Terry, for joining me on the show tonight. And thank you all for letting me 
Nobody wants to hear my story. No. Nope.